One of our clients, a very large food manufacturer, gave us a phone call and said, you know, we'd really like for you guys to come out and, and take a look at our data and help us learn from the data. And so as a statistician, I went out there and I worked with their Six Sigma teams and their quality professionals. And what we did basically was we took a year's worth of data from their plant and they made these food products, and they made about several hundred different food products in this plant, but we just took the top 20 most manufactured products in that plant. And I said, you know, what's really important to you guys? And from a food standpoint, net contents, the amount of product they actually put in a container, the weight, okay, is really important to them because that's where most of their costs are. And so they want to be careful with that because they don't want to put too much in there because that, that would be cost to them. And they certainly don't want to bet too little because they don't want to cheat anybody, right? So, so we took a look at this data and we focused on the weights, what we call net contents. And what we found was we were, I was able to help them aggregate the data, put it all together so that we could do these comparisons to see, well, how does each production line vary or how is it different from another production line? Which ones are better? Which ones are different? Which ones have the, the, the worst performance in terms of variability, which ones had the best performance. And then we also looked at how each product was different, how it was being manufactured differently on each of those production lines. Bottom line is this, after about uh, a few hours of analysis and looking at their, um, their raw material costs, because they would, they would uh, work with vendors and, and uh, use those raw materials, and that we actually got the raw material costs down to a gram weight, and then applied that gram weight cost and looked at the amount of overfill that they were providing. And we were able to, in just a few hours, to identify a $3.1 million opportunity for savings just with those top 20 product codes. And the reason why that's so cool is because they didn't realize that that opportunity was available to them. And for an organization like theirs that is trying to be more competitive and to be um, more cost efficient, it was a huge win for them. And these were not wasn't some kind of ethereal sort of you might be able to say something. No, the hard cost savings specific to raw materials. And um, it was extraordinary. And people were really, really surprised with what they found out. It was a way for us to help them take data, extract information from that data that they can then act upon to make their business more competitive and less costly.